Hi, welcome back. If you recall in the last video, we looked at solving this double integral in Cartesian coordinates by hand, and then we verified that in Calcplot 3D. And what we'd like to show here is how to do that, evaluate it much faster in MATLAB, and then use MATLAB to demonstrate Fubini's theorem. So here we go. So the first thing that we're going to do in MATLAB is define our x and y as symbolic variables. Then we're going to define our function, f of xy equals 24 minus x squared minus 3y squared. And finally, our single command here, we're just going to use the integrate command, int, but we're going to use nested integrals and sort of evaluate this in MATLAB just like we did by hand. We're going to have that inside integral of our function with respect to y, where y range from 0 to 2, that's our inside. And then we're going to evaluate that again in our outside integral which is going to be of that inside integral with respect to x, where x ranges from 0 to 3. And evaluating that, we happily get 102. So looks like everything's lining up um, by hand, Calcplot 3D, MATLAB, it's checking out. Um, but one last question I'd like to ask, and that is, what if we changed our order of integration here? What if, inst if our inside integral, instead of being with respect to y, was with respect to x. So I would definitely encourage you to go ahead and work through this integral by hand by switching up that order of integration and see if you get the same thing. Um, hopefully you're trusting MATLAB now because you got the same answer so it's going to be a bit quicker if I just show you how to do this in MATLAB. So um, we got our function definer and our variables already so all we need to do is change our inside integral here to the integral with respect to x over the range 0 to 3 and our outside integral becomes with respect to y over our range 0 to 2. And evaluating that we end up with 102. So we've shown this um, volume here under the surface in many different ways now and what we just did when we switched that order of integration is we showed what's known as Fubini's theorem. And Fubini's theorem, formally stated, says that for our region R, where x is between A and B and y is between C and D, our integral integrated um, with respect to x and then y is equal to our integral integrated with respect to y and then x. And notice that these are um, this equality is certainly contingent on those limits of x um, following x and those limits of y following where the y is. And generally we can just say this is equal to our integral of f with respect to x and y dA and we're going to integrate that over our double integral over the general region R. So basically it just says we can freely switch our order of integration as long as we keep our bounds consistent and as long as those bounds are just numbers. If those bounds become functions, well that may seem a little crazy but um, that's going to be our next lesson. So stay tuned for how to do that. Um, but until then, hope this was helpful and take care.